Well, what up, Doe Hunters? We have a global maintenance happening tonight. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about what to expect from this upcoming maintenance, what you guys can do to prepare for the upcoming maintenance. And I want to talk about something that has happened on the global Dokon Twitter that has some people possibly confused. And I want to clear up any confusion that there may be. And I'm hoping that there might be some sort of an update on global Dokon Twitter by now. So actually, you know what? Let's start by talking about that. Global maintenance and everything is important, but I want to start by talking about this because some of you guys might be clicking on this video wondering about exactly this. So let's switch over to Twitter. So this is what happened. Uh, normally, Global Dokkan has a particular time and rhythm for when they post things, but uh, it seems like their intern or whoever is in charge of this stuff doesn't know what they're doing because uh, they dropped the animation teaser for the standby skill for the Spirit Bomb GT. Now, what's weird about this is that this has been done in two installments, part one here and part two. Now, what's odd is, well, there's a number of things. Number one, the timing. 5.03 in the morning is not a time that Global Dokkan typically releases any sort of social media posts. It's usually the night before. It's usually well into the evening, but it's never at 5.03 in the morning. 5.03 in the morning is not necessarily for you guys, but for me. So according to my time zone, this is not a normal type of window for a global Dokkan tweet. This would make more sense for JP, not for global. So that's the first thing that's unusual, but this is one of two. So the second half of the tweet is right here. This didn't drop for another hour after that. So that's the second red flag that's weird. They don't even drop at the same time, which they should, since this is all one tweet, theoretically. So that's also weird. But then on top of that, each of these tweets has a follow-up tweet that dropped at its own unique time. So this is the follow-up tweet for tweet A, which happens an hour and a half after the original tweet. This follow-up tweet for tweet B happens sooner than the follow-up for tweet A. 6.23 in the morning. This drops 20 minutes after this one is posted. So something weird is happening on Global Dokkan, which has a lot of people confused and honestly laughing because Global Dokkan being Global Dokkan. But then on top of that, if you guys have been seeing my preview videos and you saw my comparison between Spirit Bomb Z and Spirit Bomb GT, then you should know by now how the unit functions in terms of the standby skill. The thing about the Spirit Bomb GT is that it's based on the damage reduction that it gains with each super attack performed. So the standby skill says when health is below 50%, after receiving four or more attacks during battle from turn four onwards, you will initiate standby phase. On Spirit Bomb Z, it's the same thing, 50% or less, but after performing four or more attacks during battle from turn four onwards. Now get this, Global Dokkan on two separate occasions follow up their first tweet with this. Condition can be activated if own health is 50% or less, or if this character attacks four or more times in battle from the fourth turn from the battle. This is very clearly not accurate. This is in fact the description for the standby phase for Spirit Bomb Z. So what they basically did on two separate occasions, seemingly deliberately as they were all posted at random times, they posted this same tweet providing the wrong information. Now, some people are thinking that this could be real because they have yet to clarify that they made a mistake. These dummies don't seem to realize that. So either this is not a mistake and Spirit Bomb GT actually does have a different condition for standby as opposed to JP or this is clearly an error that they have to fix. I am of the notion that this is an error that they have not yet fixed, although it has been almost nine, 10 hours since they have posted this. And the fact that they still haven't realized is beyond sad. So we're gonna have to wait and see. But in my humble opinion, folks, this is what the unit does. I, I think that this is too substantial of a unit. This is too big of a unit to have different on one version or the other. I think that that is, it, that would be too egregious because one version would then have a serious gripe with the other. It can then call into question, I don't know, like, you know, the, the complaint of like false advertising or, you know, something to that effect could start to come up. It could be a slippery slope. So that is why I don't think something like this would be altered fundamentally like that. I think it is still going to be a receiving attack situation for GT and a performing attack for Spirit Bomb Z. Pay no attention to this tweet. I will let you guys know, maybe in the pinned comment or just on Twitter, follow me on Twitter and uh, we'll see what happens, what, what comes of this. Let's also just take a look at the animation real quick. This is just the teaser for the standby skill. So we will just play this real quick. This is not the full animation suite, but I just want to hear the dub for this one. So let me go back here. Let's go ahead and play it. Please, everyone, lend me your energy. I can't die 
Not yet! Turn it! Please, Kakarot! I... I need your power! You guys... Ah! All right. All right. I mean, I I gotta say, uh, it's it, it, it's okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna leave it there. Let me know what you guys think about the uh, the animation and the the dude. But if anything, I mean, the hype should be so much higher now, right? Because LR Super Super Saiyan 4 Goku full power on GT or on uh, JP. So the the value for this unit has skyrocketed even more so than it already is. So that is what I'm clinging on to. Not not so much the. Uh, the I because honestly like I miss the Stephanie Nadalny Goku so this one doesn't land as much for me but still hey it still sounds good so let me know what you guys think about that but there you go that is the JP or that is the global uh Twitter shenanigans going on right now but now let's go back to talking about the upcoming maintenance maintenance is dropping tonight to be specific it's gonna be dropping one hour after the reset so I am posting this video a couple of hours before reset begins so in all honesty your window of opportunity here is gonna be very limited hopefully you guys watch this before the maintenance starts, but one hour after the daily reset begins. So wherever you are around the world, whatever time zone you're in, whatever time reset is for you, where the daily missions are once again accessible, add one hour to that, that is when the maintenance will start. So you've given yourself one hour essentially to do all of the daily missions. You don't have to do this now. You can, but you don't have to. But if you do, that can help you burn up your stamina. This is gonna be going on for seven hours. So for seven whole hours, you will be unable to access Dokkan. So what that means is, I would always recommend that you guys burn up your stamina all the way down to zero before these sorts of maintenance noted or maintenance periods begin because you never know there could be an instance where maintenance has to be extended for whatever reason or anything really so the fact that you would have zero stamina means you will have that much more to gain throughout as opposed to having a full bar of stamina going into maintenance and then gaining nothing as you come out it's essentially just getting yourself free stamina so i always recommend that you do, do that what would you need to do? Well, obviously daily missions would be number one. So, you know, when you're watching this, you probably have your daily events already available. So you could do the turtle school thing. You could do the guru event. Apparently people are forgetting that the guru event exists. This costs 30 stamina. That'll eat up a chunk of your stamina. This costs 30 stamina. You've got the two uh, different hit a potential events. The tech one is ongoing daily because of the cell and legendary campaign. Then we've got the daily int orb or the daily potential orb for that day. So you could do all of that. You could also farm a bunch of Zenny from the Hercule challenge, which is always something that I recommend. Or you could even do the Genius Bulma battle prep. Now, my previous video today was talking about exactly this. And I saw in the comments something very, very interesting that I forgot to mention. The new best item in the game is actually listed here and it is now farmable. And that is the Guide Robo. So let's actually talk about that because the Guide Robo is the Ghost Usher, but better. The Ghost Usher, obviously, the main appeal here is that you can delay all opponents for one turn, right? And so this, to be fair, this is worded differently, but see how the other one is better than this. When you're doing a red zone event, you use a Ghost Usher, you stall out the enemy for one turn. Something like what PyCon's active skill can do, something like what Tech 1718 can do. Check out Guide Robo. Guided Robo delays single target's enemy attack for one turn and lowers the enemy's attack by 66% for two turns. So that means that you will not only delay the target, but then they will also enter the next turn nerfed sort of like nurse chi chi nurse chi chi nerfs the enemy's attack by 74 percent this one would nerf the attack by 66 but that is pretty good and the main thing is you can now farm this unit or this this item if you so choose but again to be fair the ghost usher delays everybody so something like world tournament ghost usher is better this guy only delays a single target but when you do that on something like red zone you get the added benefit of also nerfing their attack now to be fair if you're not actually fighting a unit that can have his attack nerfed this wouldn't really matter but still it is worth noting that you can now farm that out so going to the bulma event could also be a great way to quickly burn up your stamina for me for example i'm at 178 stamina i could do this five times and maybe even a sixth time and then i can get all this done before the maintenance actually starts so please consider you know doconning as responsibly as you can empty out that stamina bar so that way when you go into maintenance the game will be working for you and then also don't forget Peton battle should do the exact same thing before Peton or before the maintenance starts check your Peton battles make sure that there are no ones that are already completed if there are any start them and then throw on a couple of cards just so that the enemy's HP bar slightly shifts that way you're not like totally obliterating him where it will take 30 minutes it will take more like five six hours maybe longer something more like this where the battle's going on for four hours and that way that too will also be working for you while you're in maintenance but there you have it, folks. That is our full look at the upcoming maintenance period. 
and uh, how you guys can prepare as far as what's going to be coming up we already know it's going to be update 5.1.2 it's going to be super battle road there's really not much else that they could be adding here the automated extreme sea battles super battle road world tournament they will probably be giving us all of these upcoming medals for the world tournament the assets for these and then we should receive any lingering data that is needed for the upcoming countdown celebration as that is going to be starting in just a couple of days so maybe speed battle assets maybe pngs for the comeback campaign or tickets or any of these events that aren't otherwise already in the game they might give us some of these or perhaps even load screens so there you have it folks prepare for upcoming maintenance dokon responsibly pay no attention to global dokon's twitter they're a bunch of dummies I will cover you guys and take care of you guys. Don't worry about that. And if there's any follow-up regarding that, I will put something either in the pinned comment or on my Twitter. So make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Some of the comments, your thoughts on the Global Dokkan Twitter situation. Do you guys think that this is a simple error on their part? Or do you think that JP and Global will have two different Spirit Bomb GT units in terms of their standby conditions? Let me know your thoughts about the animation dub. Let me know what you guys think about how you usually prepare for maintenance. Do you guys like to burn up your stamina all the way to zero? Do you not care? Let me know your thoughts about anything and everything in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more Dokkan content in the future and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know when I see more of my stuff doing. Thanks again. Stay tuned and I'll return to Dokkan responsibly.